R the uh, L dodge is very useful. That bench up there is a bit hidden. <laughs> And I just want to check back up there and yeah we have packed attack again. That'll be you we'll need that uh, a banshee later on for a side quest. And this just has another cotton threads. Cotton threads is an a well, a resource we can gather from enemies and chests. Uh, which are you well you can sell them or but they're also you know, needed for a side quest. And this is about the only point I know that those skeletons jump backwards. And I watch out for this spawning zombies. Magical ticket, very useful item. If you use it you get uh, teleported to uh, the hub area which we haven't visited yet. It isn't Ecclesia. But it will appear after, uh, after this. Oh, after this stage. And from what I'm seeing, the recording's a bit slow down here. I don't know how that's in the video. Uh, there it goes again, normal. Okay, we're getting close to the end, to the boss. The first save, of course. Saving uh, for saving fills your health and stuff. And I'm switching to Sakara. I switched to Sakara because Coulter isn't very powerful. Uh, Sakara, yeah. Uh, Double Sakara is uh, much more useful for yeah, fights. Yeah, MP up, same as hearts and yeah, HP. And this uh, here I show the purpose of warp rooms. It allows you to warp from po one point to another as long as you've yeah, got two warp points. You've already visited two warp rooms. Very useful in longer stages. If you need to get out of a place, you know, you're out of. Uh, Magical tickets. And over here's the first boss. Uh, let's see what's where's its name again. Um, oh yeah, Antrovera uh, Verta. Yeah, it has a, a couple of attacks like this rolling one. Just use Magnus to keep in the corner over there. At times it falls back a bit. Uh, let's see how ah, the claw attack. Just walk to the uh, just walk outside of its reach. Uh, a net. You can destroy that with an attack. I was I was thinking it was going to roll again, but instead it just falls. If you manage to kill a boss without taking a single hit, you will earn a medal. It doesn't have any purpose other than bragging rights. So, and I guess here it was that yeah, here when he got me or she looks like or more like a female face. And there we go. And Pervert does that. Probably saying the name right. No wrong. When you kill a boss, one of those red eyes. A red eye will drop down and Elbus. Okay, don't know what Elvis was doing there, but at least he forgot something. A map with a village marked on it. And that's where we're going. Just a bit backtracking here to the warp room, then, and then just uh, straight run to the entrance. And that should cover everything in this area. So uh, if I missed anything, uh, you know, place a comment uh, in the. Well, place a comment saying what I missed. I'll make a video later where I cover any stuff I accidentally missed. Although I check every stage before I record it, uh, I, it's only human to accidentally make mistakes at times. Of course, if it wasn't accidental, it wasn't a mistake. Ah, yes. Yeah. 
we're getting a bit close to the end of the recording. Um, so I'm out of things to explain. And now, Weigel Village. This is the hub area. And what's this? Yeah, a glyph. To free the guy, we need to absorb the glyph. Torpor. Glyph that incapacitates you have the saved me. Okay, that's our next per uh, stop. Uh, another one of those hard gainers. So uh, this has been Let's Play uh, Mother of Ecclesia. Thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot about this part. Uh, there are 13 villages we mm, we can free, and here are the guides, uh, which uh, show uh, the power and types of cliffs for wine R, Colter, Skara, and such are cut. Uh, Torpor has freeze, but it does very little damage. Magnus doesn't even have any damage. Uh, items like the potion, which will heal, high tonic, which will restore a lot of MP. Enemy guide, showing enemies a bit of the info on them. Their drops, uh, drops are what the can what you know, the enemies can drop. The more stars means more uh, the, uh, that the drop is more rare. Uh, and some bear drops are required for lot uh, for side quests. And here's just a term list of what stuff. Uh, maps you can view the map of the areas you visited. Uh, don't know what those feathers or something at the top are. And then configuration is just uh -huh, so no your normal options. So uh, that's it all then. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.